What's up guys, welcome to the Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we are gonna talk about Metaverse. What is Metaverse? Why does everybody talk about it? Why Facebook has changed its company name to Meta? Is it a new game? Is it a new social media platform? What is it? And what do those terms like augmented reality and non-fungible token means? That all and a little bit more I will try to explain in less than 15 minutes. Metaverse. This term becomes very popular in the 90s. American writer Neil Stevenson used it in his sci-fi novel called Snow Crash, published in June 1992. Snow Crash tells the story of hero protagonist, a hacker who jumps back and forth between dystopian Los Angeles and a virtual world called the Metaverse. By the way, in Greek, meta is used as a prefix that means after or beyond. For example, metadata means something more than data. Metadata is used by enforcement agencies, police investigators, FBI, etc to access information like origin of file creation or location of the taken photo. So the metaverse must be more than the universe. But what could be more than the universe? Maybe life without all worries, life exactly like we want it, life without fear of death. That is metaverse. Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Facebook, I mean CEO of Meta, wants to move our physical world to the computer, to the virtual reality. That means the internet, as we know, will be upgraded. Everything will be changed. This transformation will be shocking, like having the internet in the 90s. In the 90s, suddenly people start to seek information not in the libraries, like they used to, but by sitting in front of their computer screens. They started to hang out with people in the chat rooms, advertise and look for a new job, for example, on www. Today we cannot imagine do anything without the internet. We are using it for literally everything. Now, try to imagine that our wonderful internet will transform. The transformation will be so big that we cannot even fully imagine what that even means. We believe that Metaverse will be the successor of the mobile internet, Zuckerberg said. We'll be able to feel present like we are right here with people no matter how far apart we actually are. Forget using keyboards and mouses, forget using monitor screens or even touch screens, and, and forget about the two-dimensional world. Meta is introducing a three-dimensional virtual reality world and something called AR. In other means, we could jump into the VR world or virtual world could visit us in our real world like holograms. The second option is called augmented reality. Facebook, uh, sorry, Meta is working on two projects, projects Cambria and project Nazar. Project Cambria is a new virtual reality headset, next generation, all-in-one VR hardware. Project Cambria will be a high-end device at a higher price point, packed with all the latest advanced technologies, including improved social presence, color pass-through, pancake optics, and a lot more. Project Nazar is a true augmented reality glasses, the kind that projects holographic onto our surrounding, fetches data from the cloud and intuitively reacts to our movements. Just imagine the world of tomorrow. We are waking up, going to our kitchen for a cup of coffee, and instead of going to work, we are just going to our desk, putting those AR glasses or VR headset, and we are already at work. You see co-workers, they see you, you can talk with them, wave to them, or <clears throat> have a meetings and access to work-related stuff without being there. 
how much time you're wasting in a traffic every day. Or imagine meeting your friends, friends that live so far away that could normally never happen. Now you can see them talk, play and drink coffee together. Metaverse is opening the world like nothing before. This new internet with a 3D environment will eventually give us a lifelike sensation. Today they are talking about VR headsets and AR glasses, but tomorrow maybe we will connect to the new internet like Neo in the Matrix movie or like the main characters in the fifth season of uh, Black Mirror episode Striking Vipers. Sounds crazy, right? But Elon Musk is preparing first in the world implantable brain machine interface. They've got fundings, they've got neuroscientists and they have first implants ready. They started implanting those interfaces to monkeys and pigs. Simply crazy. The future is very close. Examples of what this new world will look like are games. Games like Second Life, Grand Theft Auto or Fortnite. Those games are online multimedia platforms that allow people to create an avatar for themselves and basically have a second life. Personally, I like Grand Theft Auto. The game very nicely copied a big part of Los Angeles. Walking down the streets of LA is awesome. But what is the most important in GTA? Motor vehicle theft is also known as a Grand Theft Auto. People all over the world play together, stealing cars, shooting at each other, doing crazy missions, flying military planes, selling drugs, playing in casinos, breaking into the banks and much much more. People love that game because it gives them freedom, you can do whatever you want. In 2017 Steven Spielberg gave us a movie called Ready Player One. Watch it if you haven't. The movie is showing a bit disturbing feature where people rather stay in VR world than the real world. That's something to think about. Let's think for a minute what needs to happen to make people start using this meta in daily basis. Meta has to be fun, has to be desirable, has to be addictive. To do that, they need to move as many real things into that virtual world as possible. Games, obviously, social platforms, that will be the start. But things like work and travel, that will be a real huge step that could put our three letters in one place. If they copy, for example, New York City with every detail in scale one to one with amazing graphic, I think tourism, like we know it, will change beyond recognition. The next important step is to give people the ability to earn money in, in that new V world. We all need to pay bills. That shouldn't be so difficult. Recent events show us that we can work from home. Now, this will just move to the next level. What about the graphic? Games like Grand Theft Auto or Fortnite looks nice, but we want close to the reality experience. That's my dear viewers, is happening already. Famous game developer Epic Games, known from Unreal Engine, has something for us. 
The latest generation of game building software is now available for developers. The level of details is mind blowing. Just have a look. Those reflecting lights, shadows, ultra high detailed textures, real time lighting, that's unreal. Or I should say, very real. When I'm watching clips from that Unreal Engine, sometimes I'm forgetting that's fake. That's a computer-generated world, not the real world. Crazy. By the way, that company also created an app called Meta Human Creator, available to everybody app to create digital human. The level of details is simply amazing, looks almost, seriously, almost like a real human. technology used here is so fascinating, simply mind-blowing, but this will take too much time to cover. Maybe I will do it in the next video. My video is almost over, but I want to mention about one more thing. Did you know that you can invest money in that new virtual world? Real estate investors are, are paying millions of dollars on the land that does not exist. People are paying mega money for virtual land in the metaverse world. Better be hurry, price is going constantly up. For example, Snoop Dogg is building his own mansion there and someone recently paid $450,000 to be Snoop Dogg's neighbor neighbor in a virtual world called the sandbox unbelievable okay that was real estate what about the art no problem have you heard about nft a non-fungible token it's a form of digital proof that you are the real owner of for example picture in a jpeg format a digital artist known as Bipple sold his work for 69 million of dollars. By the way, the file, that JPEG picture, is available for download for free for everybody. But the true owner is and will be only one. What do you think about all of this? Do you think this is the future that is just behind the corner? Or maybe that's never gonna happen. Would you like to visit a New York City like this if, uh, if the sensation was almost real? Would you buy tickets for the Justin Bieber concert and watch it in your house without going anywhere? I'm curious about your opinion. 
all right guys this is gonna be it i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask just leave a comment below and guys let's hack the algorithm by liking this video subscribing sharing or just simply leaving the comment like and leaving the comment for the algorithm thank you very much see you next time thank you bye